So much and we're ready. All right, so welcome to Lux Live After Dark. Today we'll be joined with the owner of Lux Live, which is Rochelle, and I, the co-host of Lux Live's After Dark, Basilina. I am production, and I won season one of this cast. So let's get into it. For this season, we have a very unique theme, which is David versus Goliath. Now, obviously, when it comes to these types of videos, I can't go into specifics. I cannot speak. It's okay. I cannot go into specifics about certain things because of potential in-game influence and other things. But today, we're going to be talking about the tribes as a whole. We'll be talking about the David tribe, and we'll be talking about the Goliath tribe. If you guys have any questions during the thing, you can comment down. And yeah. Uh, you can comment in the general. Yeah, I don't know if Rochelle would let me, but I don't know if you guys can accept the talking thing, but yeah. All right, so today we're going to be talking about with the David tribe first. Now, I assume that's the first one that was revealed. Yes, yes. it was. So, uh, in terms of the David tribe, we're going to go down each of the players. We're not really going to go into specifics about them, but we're going to talk about why we think that they could be a David or a Goliath. Now... In terms of that, we're not going to go into specifics, like I said before. If you have anything specific, and this goes to specifically castaways in the cast, if you have anything specific, you can leave it in your confessionals, or you can just talk about it in your tribe chats. But let's not try to do that much uh, stuff right away. Okay, so our first castaway from the David tribe is Cody Gamer 101 tc So Cody. So I'm just going to go through the thoughts about it, and yeah... So, if you guys have any questions about the castaways that they can actually answer, you can also answer those too. So, starting off with Cody, they are an actor, and um, I'm not going to go through the trivia stuff. <laughs> Anyways, so I was going to read them, but not. So, thoughts about Cody? I think that when it comes to being an actor, it's definitely a David, because you never know what uh, situations you're going to be into. Um... When it comes to Cody themselves, I think that they are typically a decent player at the competitions. Mm -hmm. um, I'll say that Cody is like one of my top favorite players from Escape the Night. Um, so that's why I was really, I was not um, hesitant at all to cast him for the season. Um, <gasps> yep. In terms of socially... They seem okay. They don't seem great, but they don't seem terrible. So, to overall... be honest, go ahead. Go ahead. Um, I think Cody's more of a Goliath personally because of like how he can play. Both, like he's a really good person and nice, and I just think he's more Goliath type. I do think that he has Goliath aspects, but overall, I think the way that he plays is more of a David. And this season, we're going to figure out if he can play like a David or a Goliath. So that's pretty much all we have for Cody. So we're going to continue with our second castaway, which is Eliana. Now, for those of you that don't know, Eliana has played in the Escape the Night as well. Eliana did do decently well. I don't remember their exact placements, but they did pretty good. Um... She did really well. In terms of a David, I think that she's just completely an underdog. I think the way that she plays is that she's always going to be seen as someone who is underestimated. That's pretty much, I think, the bulk of her game. Do you guys have anything, anything you would like to say about that? Yeah, I um I agree with that. Um, Eliana is also one of my top favorite... Oops, hold on. I listen... <laughs> Uh, what is this my quality ratio I broke, like i broke my thing anyway um elian is like probably one of my favorite um players from escape the night as well um and she's also one of my closest friends like i know that's not really what <laughs> we should be talking about but uh, i was really excited to have eliana apply this season okay and i think similar to cody i think for her it's more of, can she prove herself to be a David or a Goliath? She's one of those people that could be either or, depending on the mm -hmm. season. So we're going to have a lot of time to see which player she's going to be. Um, anyone else have anything they'd like to say about Eliana before we continue? No, I don't think so. Uh, you don't you guys think so? Really I well. mean, you guys said everything, so. Yeah. 
All right. The next player on the cast is Z. Now, in terms of Z, I don't really know Z that well. I've seen Z be in a couple long terms, but I don't know how they play. So from my personal perspective, and I don't know if it's similar for other people, but just in general, I'm just going to use Z as an example. When you don't know somebody, I think already they're already put as a David. I think people are not going to know how he's going to play. People don't really know how he operates. So I think this is going to be an opportunity for him to show himself. I think Z is probably one of the people that won't really have the David versus Goliath story unless something serious happens in the game. I think for Z, it's really just going to come down to showing who Z is and how they're going to play this game. Also talks a lot. Uh, yeah. I don't know Z that much, but yeah, I know they were active before the cast reveal and probably during the whole season. Mm-hmm. Do you um, guys have anything else? Oh, sorry. Uh, I'll also add, like, um, it's it's good that we casted, like, um, Cody and Eliana, um, but it's also really good that we cast people that, uh, especially the hosts um, and the casting team, that we don't really know. Um, just because, like, in the past few seasons, we've had people who played really well that we didn't know, for example, like, Benny from Season 2 or Renee and Tasha from Season 1. Um, so I think it's it's really exciting when we have newer players in the long term. I agree with that. I think it brings a new dynamic, and also I think it provides a new opportunity to really see who they can actually align with. I think one of the things about Lux Live is that a lot of these people, either they know each other or they played in different seasons together. So just spicing it up is just really nice, so that way we can use it as an opportunity to see who's really having the bag and who's just players that get far based on pre-connections, pre-game connections. So yeah. We can have like an All right, audience. so the yeah. next castaway <laughs> okay. from the David Tribe is Irene. Now, I actually have a really interesting opinion about Irene. Um, I believe if I'm correct, I think she's from Network. I believe that's the long term she's from. It's Network. Oh, she is. So when it comes to Irene, I think that she's also... I wouldn't say she's new school, but I definitely think that when it comes to people in Lux Live, she isn't as known. So the question really becomes, can she play the game that she wants to in like a LT like network? Or will it be an issue of more being on the outs and not being as connected? To be honest, I'm really excited to see Irene play. I think that she could do really well, but I think it's just going to be one of those. It's either A or B. So, yeah. Um, I really the drama community. She's like, I, I used to be a host there, where I am, and she goes to, like, a lot of them, and she usually wins them, so she's from the little drama community. Right. Um, I think Irene will be one of those hit-or-miss type of people. Um, she's like, she can do really good, or she can, um, like, you know, get voted out really, really sad, and, like, probably be one a big robbery. And can we also talk about how her avatar, like, kind of ate? No, literally. I think she probably has definitely a top three avatar. I don't know if it's the best, but it's definitely up there. If her avatar is going to be, like, symbolic to how she plays the game, I'm really excited to see how Irene plays and how far she goes. Alrighty, the next castaway is Grace slash Sun. Uh, Sun is also from Escape the Night. <laughs> Um, and what we kind of know about Sun is that they're, they are a physical player, um, like really similar to um, Renee and Tasha from season one. Um, and I think it's, it's um, good to have different types of players because a lot of people in the long term community kind of just uh, have a social game and then they don't really have any other aspect to them. Um, so casting Sun for me was kind of like a, like a 100% because I know that he plays really differently from most people. Yeah, I agree with that. I think anytime you have a different uh, mix of players, it definitely elevates the game at a different level. And I think when it comes to Sun, Sun is a perfect example of someone that could actually do well in either situation, depending on which skills that they use. 
So really, it just comes down to the cast overall and how they're going to operate, specifically the David tribe. They operate based on physical strength. Could be a good thing if they operate based on like social strategic skills. That could be a downfall. So it really comes down to uh, how the tribe overall is going to operate. And I think also if they end up losing, how they uh, orchestrate and factor into how they determine the first vote out is also going to make a difference in how someone's going to play this game. So yeah. Go Grace. Grace is my best friend ever. Alrighty, so our next David is Evelyn. So, honestly, I can't speak anything about Evelyn just because uh never met them before, but I'm going to do something different. I'm going to go based off their GFX. Her GFX, she looks really positive. I don't think she's going to be the best at physical. I don't think she'll be the best strategical. She may not even be the best social, but I think she'll be a memorable character, to say the least. I'm sorry. The only thing I have to say is, what is that smile? Why did the teeth look like that? It's amazing. You just sound bitter, but it's okay. <laughs> uh-huh, deaf. Mm-hmm. Do you guys have anything so, else about Evelyn? So, weird. so that face is kind of expensive, because I feel like that yellow thing is off the top of her eye. That's like 5K robot. Mm-hmm. We have some rich people in the cast. I see, I see. Oh so I'm getting like those like famous recruit vibes. So oh. I feel like I feel like that's pretty much their archetype, so yeah. So the next person that we're gonna be talking about is Evan Bork. So the thing about Evan is for me, just noticing how he plays in other long terms. He doesn't really have a specific way of playing. I've noticed when it comes to Evan, he's either a hit or miss. And I know for a bunch of these people specifically, when we talk about how they're going to play this season, it's a hit or miss. Typically in other long terms, they're known to either doing really well or like really bad. And with Evan, I don't really see that. I've seen Evan go really far and I've seen Evan go uh, really early. I think really comes down to similar to Sun with the whole how the tribe is going to work, it comes down to the tribe dynamic. Whoever the first person voted out is in that reasoning is really just going to determine if he goes far or not. Physically, he seems pretty good. Socially, he seems okay. Strategically, I don't know what he's going to do for the season, but I feel like he's definitely going to be a wild card this season. Mm. I'll say that um, Evan is like one of the um, I guess... I, I don't know how else to describe it other than like memer gang. I know I don't know if he's really part of it, but like he's one like Walmart memer gang. I'm sorry, I had to say it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll say that. But like um we typically cast like one or two of these like manly straight men in our cast. Um because I feel like it it kind of um gives the tribe a different dynamic. Um, to have like clashing personalities, um, and I think it's just more entertaining for us to watch like that. And like, okay, like, and, like we need representation. We need the cis hat men on the cast. We need that representation. I'm joking, please. The past, if it isn't like White and Fabio, they both got into the end, but neither is one. So like, right. To be fair, Fabio was kind of well there, but anyways, but uh. No, yeah, I think I agree. But, I actually, that brings up a good point, Rochelle. I actually didn't think about this till now, but I actually think Evan's archetype is also a bigger factor than probably other people, because typically, in certain long terms, the archetype that you're in can sometimes literally be your downfall, despite who actually is in that archetype. So I'm very curious to see... Will that affect this season, or will people not care about it? Typically, most people don't, but you never know how it's going to work. So, yeah. So, our next castaway on the David's Tribe, and I believe there are nine, so there's two more left. We have Simone or Nina. So, honestly, I've never got to really know her too, too well. I've seen her in other long terms. I've sort of played in one long term with her. From what I get, she's very quiet. Um, she seems very nice. I don't know how she is physically, and I don't know how she's going to be strategically. I think for her, the biggest thing is just really being 
social. If she's really social out of the gate and figures out how she wants to play this game, I think it'll work for her. But if she's really like reserved, like I've seen her before, I think it could bite her in the butt. Um, she seems really nice, but honestly, I feel like that's the hit or miss for her. There's no really in between for her. So that's really all I got to say about her. She's the winner. She's the one. So yeah. Mm. Guys, you should just walk because Caroline's winning. Um, the thing I have to say about Mina is that I think she's going to play similarly to um, T from season two, who was very social and played around their social game. Um, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. About it. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. And also, I believe she took a break from LTs for a while, so I think it'll be nice to see how she is now. Typically, it doesn't really affect that many people, but I do think the way that she plays the game could be affected by the break, but who knows. <clears throat> okay, so let me see who the next person is. Oh, and the last person for the David tribe is DJ. They seem very nice. Uh, and they have a good chip on their shoulder. But I think besides that, I don't know. I'm actually really curious to see how they're going to play the game. Um, I don't know them too well, so I, I don't really have that much to say. I mean, from what I've yeah. seen, like, if you ask me, they usually go out kind of early. So I don't know what the problem is, really. But I mean, she can fix that. So go I feel like they definitely fit the David archetype. I, I agree. I think they're going to prove something this season, and it's either going to be really good for them or uh, really bad for them. But I'm actually excited. They've been applying to other LTs, and I know they applied to this one, so I see the dedication, and I hope it works out for them. Now, yeah, overall, so when we talk about the David tribe... I just, I'm just i just going to add that um, CJ also applied like uh, in Season 1 and didn't get in. Um, just like as a general note that we really like people who um, show dedication to the server, uh, even if it means like applying multiple times, like just because you don't get in your first time um, doesn't mean like you had a bad app. It just might have meant that the, you might have not worked with the cast that you originally applied to. Um, so like obviously don't be discouraged if you don't get in right away. Yeah, I agree with that. I think CJ is actually the perfect representation of what Rochelle was saying and the fact that, honestly, I think this is a CJ season, whether they do well or not. I think this is the season that they were meant to be on, and this is the season that they're meant to put all their hard work with. So I think overall, it's, uh, it's going to be very interesting to see how they do. So that was a good little break thing. But to wrap up the David tribe overall, it's a pretty good group of people. I think a lot of people are going to have to prove themselves and not just the stereotypical David way. I think there's some people that are here to prove that they still have it. I actually think this is a pretty good group of Davids. Some of them could technically be Goliaths, but overall, I think we're going to see why they're Davids and uh, all the hard work they put into hopefully being the sole survivor. All right, so now let's move on to the Goliath tribe. Typically, these are the people that capitalize on their advantages to get further in life, and in this case, in the game. So um, we're going to start off with uh, the first one, which is Beyonce. Bay. Um, I expect her to play really hard. She just has that vibe. You can just tell by her GFX. She just has that vibe that she's here to play. I think that she's pretty good physically. She's pretty decent socially. Strategically, I don't know how she's going to play. But I think for most of these people here, especially for the Goliaths, most of them are either really good socially or either really good physically. I mean, that's pretty much how, for most of the time, the Goliaths are typically seen as. So I think also when it comes to the Goliath tribe and Bay for this example, I think it's really going to be a test to see which category do they thrive in the most. I personally think it's physical, but I guess we're just going to have to see. I think that they're probably going to go... They could go pretty far. It's assuming that their tribe doesn't lose consistently. I think they could go pretty far, but who knows? I think it's really going to come down to all the twists and things that could shake up the game. 
What do you guys think? Um, I think I or we know that Bay is from. Well, at least I know. I know Bay is from Circus Studios, like Clown's old long term. Um, and I know that she is pretty much like the archetype of a Goliath. If I could like sum up her gameplay in in a few in a sentence. Yeah. Anyone else have anything they would like to say about Bay before we move on? They definitely seem like <laughs> she's from like um, Glows, and aren't Glows people like really competitive? I remember. Um, uh, she is from they, Glows. Um, yeah, she's they from Glows. Could definitely go for. I think like I don't know. They just seems like a good player. Mm-hmm. All right, I guess that's it. So our next player on the Goliath tribe is Brent. So Brent is kind of interesting. I personally think Brent is more of a character than I think Brent realizes. Um, I think there's definitely a lot more going on with Brent than half the time that they show. To me, I think it really comes down to the cast itself. If they like his personality, he could thrive. If they don't like his personality, I think he could be really early boot. I don't think he's built to be... um, like an early boot, but I could also see it in terms of when it comes to the Goliath tribe, typically, as we saw on the original season, on season 37 on CBS, we noticed that a lot of them had strong personalities, and although they didn't seem like early boots, they ended up being early boots because either personalities clashed or people just wanted to get rid of certain people just for the sake of it. And that's the vibe I get from Brent. I think that socially he's decent, physically he's decent. I think it really, really just comes down to other people on the cast and whether they like him or not. Um, they played in other long term, so they've had some experience like most of the other people. So we just have to see. Is defending is like Brent's avatar like some superhero? Because I was kind of confused with what defending Earth occupation meant. Is it like? Is like the avatar like built around that? That's why um, I'm thinking. Yeah, I think it is. That's what he told me when he applied. And mm-hmm. um, I'll just add that uh, Brent is someone who we cast it uh, uh, personality over strategy. Um, and I think a lot of people kind of uh, like look over personality than they do. Uh, strategy like a lot of people try really hard on the strategy p- portion of the application and they kind of um, neglect to include their personality and um, having like really strong personalities in the season is what makes a season more interesting like I can't cast 20 game bots and expect the season to be fun <laughs> to, like to be honest so I was uh, excited to cast him for the season yeah I agree I think he'll bring some entertainment of some kind, whether it's good or bad. And typically entertainment, whether it's good or bad, typically turns to good, but we'll just have to see how things go. But definitely excited to see how he plays. All right. The next player that is on the Goliath tribe is Laura. And I don't really know anything about her. I do know that she's in a lot of LT servers that are typically bigger, so I don't know if she's ever played in any of them, but it makes me wonder, does she have a... uh, Makes me wonder if she has, like, a defined strategy. Typically, when it comes to other players uh, from certain long terms, after playing a couple, they kind of form some kind of strategy right off the bat, and they know how they want to play. I don't know in this case if she has one, but uh, I could see her being a dark horse in the season. But also, it doesn't seem like she knows that many people from this long term, so she could also have a lot of time struggling. But the fact that she's on the Goliath tribe does give me some indication that maybe she'll be in a better spot than I think, but that's just all uh, a guess at this point. I'm going to be honest. She gives major girl boss vibes. Oh my god! Like the, I was gonna say, the hair like, is so iconic. What LTs are is she from? Because I know the username, but I don't know. Um, I don't know if she's ever played in them, but like I know she's in. I believe she played in Big Brother America. Don't quote me on that. 
But um, I know, um, I remember the name. She's friends with like a, actually a good amount of LT players. It's surprising that she is. I know. I've actually heard the name more than you would think. So, yeah, she actually, she definitely knows how to play. But Yeah. Well, all I can say is that, well, she, she right now she's in an orgy that I'm in production in. And I, the only thing I can say, she's a crazy bitch. So, you said orgy? she knows what I'm talking about. So, you said O-R-G. orgy. Okay. Why Not or say, shut up. Why don't you just say org? Discord long term, fine. Is that better? It's <laughs> right, Alex. I've never heard anyone say what? org. Just say org. Just say org. <laughs> I don't know what. I don't know how it's pronounced. Org. I heard org. Yeah. Org, suddenly, fine. That one. Suddenly it turned into bullying. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's it always bullying, deserved. Jim. What is it not bullying, Jim? <laughs> deserved. All right. The next player on the Goliath tribe is Alex. I have no hope for Alex. Okay, no, I literally I have don't, hope. I don't know who they are, like, <laughs> at all. But uh, Alex was someone that Kim was um, fighting for. So, I mean, I guess that's good. Because, actually, Kim casted a bunch of people in the past that have played really well like for example sun mm -hmm. is someone who kim casted and he basically dominated both seasons of escape the night that they were in um i think other examples are like well i can't really think right now but right. I, I i typically like to trust kim's instinct so i hope I, that he plays well i do <laughs> think that there's potential but just looking at the GFX, just looking at the tribe that they're on and just looking at them, and they're not really in any... As far as I'm aware, the only other LT that they're in, like, server is Big Brother off the block. I just don't have high hopes for them. It, maybe it's just a gut thing. Hopefully they'll prove me wrong, but I just don't have high hopes. Uh, I think they're from the challenge. They're in a few of the challenge servers that I'm in. And, so they're probably um... good physically. In a reality long studio. So yeah, if they are from the challenge, then they're really good physically. They're related to Kimberly, so I'm rooting for them. Him. Like, right. Yeah. He's my well, best friend, even though Kim hates my guts. Yeah, I hope that they... I'm gonna pray for... for is it... Are they going by Jack or Alex? Jack? I think it's I think Alex. It's... Alex? Okay. Well, we're just gonna hope that it works out. Yeah, they're going by Alex. Um, I'm definitely excited to see what they're made of, so maybe they're really good physically, but I definitely want to see how they play in the social game and how that's gonna work. So yeah. Alrighty, our next uh, person on the Goliath tribe and the 14th castaway member is Maddie. Now, from what I remember, Maddie was definitely remembered from, um, she was remembered from Sunset. I believe if I'm correct, she dominated the entire season. Well, not the entire season, but she dominated a good chunk of it. And then they gave it to Singer. And I was just like really, really confused. Um, that girl? Oh. Yeah. Yeah. So, oh. yeah, yeah. So... For me, I think she, if I remember, she was sort of a character, but also she had the good game wits. So I'm expecting that. I just don't know how it's going to be in terms of this cast. Clearly, it rubbed a lot of people the wrong way when she played in Sunset. So I wonder if that's going to be the case in this time. Um, and she's also like one of like three or four other people we talked about where when it comes to certain people, they can play a certain way, but depending on the cast, it may not work out and they may burn early. I hope that's not the case. I don't think it would be with her, but I could see it clearly happening if people feel the same way. So I think it's really going to come down to who wins these challenges early on to determine that. Um, I'll say that um, Maddie is one of the people that is like um, hugely personality based is the reason why they were casted. Um, which makes me really excited. Like, I think a lot of the Goliath uh, tribe is are, are strong personalities, so that's really exciting to see. So, the next person on the cast is Lucas. 
Lugie, Lucas, uh, Lucas, I think. They're going by Lucas this season. Okay. And when it comes to him, I actually don't... Uh, I actually don't have an opinion on Lucas, actually. I, I don't know where they lie. Looking at their GFX, um, I think they have some flavor. But I don't really know how they're going to play the game. So, to me, I don't really know them. So, honestly, it's going to be... I think it's just going to come down to the first couple challenges. It gives me... He gives me more potential than Jack. But also, I could see it not working out. I personally would think that they could actually be a dark horse this season, just looking at their outfit. I hope that's true. I, I think they could be a really good dark horse, but I don't want to say anything too early. But I think it's more coming down to connections. I don't think they know that many people here. So overall, it's just going to be how they integrate with the rest of the tribe. I think I um... like style. Oh, sorry. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I just said I like their style. Period. Um, for me, we casted Lucas because. Uh, wait, is that his name? Yes. Um, because, uh, they had a very like similar app and like strategy to Benny, who is one of our favorite players from season two. So I don't know if it will um shine the same way in the season, but that is what my expectation kind of is. Right. Yeah. I I don't know. I think it's I think it's gonna be good. The one thing that I do like about this cast is there's a lot of people that don't know really anyone, or they know very few people that are even on the specific cast if they're in the server. So I do think it's gonna create a lot more opportunities for more interesting gameplay. And I do think that prior to like past seasons where people knew each other, I think it's gonna create an opportunity for like new vendettas and new alliances and to really see how season three is going to shake up. I mean, I think also for season one and season two, I think there was at least certain people here and there that knew each other. So it was a little bit easier at the beginning or certain parts of the game to just reach out to somebody. So I do think with this season specifically, the fact that there's so many people that don't know each other and also people on the cast that do know each other, don't know each other that well in terms of others that are in the server. I do think that this will be a good season to really see who has the potential because it's more of an even playing field than typically other uh, seasons. Yeah, and like even though um, Cody and Eliana are together, they've never like been in an alliance together. <laughs> even though they both played in Escape the Night, we've never seen them like kind of play together. So it will be good to see something happen this season. All right, our next castaway on the Goliath tribe is Cranium. And I will say this, I feel like Cranium is one of the few people in this game that can play a game but also be a character. I know it can be very hard for some people to do that. They either have to be like game bot or character, but I know Cranium can do that. So I'm just really excited to see how Cranium plays because I don't know how Cranium's going to play. Cranium doesn't really play a specific way. Uh, Cranium kind of plays um, a different time in each LT, so I'm actually really excited to see how Cranium's going to play. And I do think that this would be a try where Cranium would be able to prove whichever way she wanted to play, how to do it successfully, or how to change up if things weren't working out. Um, I'll say that I I really like Cranium, and I think that they are going to play... Um, I well, at least I can hope to say that they're going to play really well this season. Um, obviously, we casted them for season two, um, but due to like you know personal stuff, they had to leave, um, which is unfortunate. But I feel like that in this season they kind of fit in more with the cast. Um, so I'm excited to see how they're going to play this season. Was Courtney Cranium's rep? Um, I think no. I think Wyatt was actually Cor uh, Cranium's rep. Wyatt was a rep? Yeah. That went well. Because I know. <laughs> Stop! Wyatt. Wyatt <laughs> it was like, because Cranium, um, I think, left maybe like a few days or so before the cast reveal. So then we had to replace them. And Wyatt was like 
the, the next person in the, on the list. So, I think Cranian, however you say that name, can either go like really far or like go. I think early merge or really far. Yeah, I think that I like I said before another character. Yeah, I'm starting to see this trend that there's a lot of characters on the Goliath tribe, so. I'm starting to wonder if this is going to be, like, really, really crazy, and it's going to be, like, a bloodbath at the very beginning. If that's the case, I'm really excited, but, yeah. So, that's pretty much it we're, for Cranium. We're moving on to my favorite character now. Alrighty, our next castaway for this season is oh Sing. I'm gonna so, cry. next thing. I'm gonna cry. Thing. I'm gonna cry. Let's skip him. Typically, no! typically... Typically, yes, when I agree comes, with Rachel. No, All right. Typically, when it comes to when Ra, uh, Rochelle, when Rochelle told me to do a the after the Lux Live After Dark, right, and do sort of an assessment on the castaways, he's uh, Rochelle specifically said do it on the castaways. Singh is not a castaway. Singh is going to get first boot. So I think it is completely no. inappropriate. To I will fight Singh you. A cast no. assessment. Scene, scene is scene making it to the perfect. end. Scene will win unanimously. Scene will have a perfect game. Scene is that great of a person. Like, scene. no one hates him. Well, no one is... puts him as notable cut. Exactly. Sing has a really amazing social game, if you've seen. <laughs> Sing really good physically. <laughs> so, Sing is a Goliath for being... <laughs> I don't know. I actually don't know why they're on the Goliath tribe. We're being or being seeing. Let me just say, okay, when we did the the app grading, when I told him what was the thing, I put, I literally put down. I didn't write anything for Mister Singh. I just wrote down Singh on the on the grade because because I literally didn't know what else to write. Yeah, like everyone's strategy. I was social, yeah. physical, and then there was Singh. His strategy was Singh. I think when it comes to every single person on the cast, I think Singh has the worst chances of actually succeeding. And typically, I wouldn't say that because typically, if you do bad in the long term, people would find a way. But um, I just don't see it with Singh. Like, Singh has been in other situations in the long terms, and I don't think Singh really gets the game completely to be like, hey, like I need to do this or that. But what I will say about Singh is Singh can be a character, and Singh does have like those like iconic like intellectual moments. What I would like from that would be these intellectual iconic moments being longer than 30 seconds, so that way he can actually succeed in the game. But besides that, I think Singh has a really good chance if he can play his cards right. But did he like play Big Brother Central? Did he get to, like final nine or something? I don't know. Like, more than that. Good for him, as he should. It's That's why he's final, the best yeah. player ever. Oh, 12, 9, same thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah same thing. Those but honestly, away 20. But honestly, at the end of the day, I would hope that Singh would have learned from their past mistakes. But I don't have hopes for Sing, just because I don't think they have the real inclination to fix those mistakes than moving around those mistakes. But if but if Sing somehow did it, I wouldn't be upset at all if that was the case. So yeah. Anything else you guys want to say about Sing? Um if he makes if he gets first boot, um the can season's canceled. Like I don't know why you guys are all obsessed with scene sensation. I did it. I said it wrong. Sensation. Mm hmm. Is that it? Yes. Yeah. That's it. Oh, ready. And the final castaway. Oh castaway. On the oh my god, castaway. Tribe, and the final, or Goliath tribe. And the final castaway of the season is Jessica. Now, you can just tell by her trivia. And also, if you play a long term with her or know how she plays, she can be very scrappy, which I think is. A good sign to be on the Goliath tribe. I think the fact that one of her trivia things is that I'm a bad bitch, I think explains it all, that she has the personality and she's going to do what she needs to do in order to succeed. I think when it comes to the game, I think it really comes down to the social game. She's one of those people, and I would say myself as well in certain other long terms, 
there's a very specific group of people that can be a personality, but typically turn it up or turn it down, depending on the cast. There's some people that will typically just be themselves very little, but not that way. I know when it comes to her, she can turn it up, but she can also turn it down. So really, it comes down to how she's able to use it to her advantage. Um, she definitely has the social game. Uh, because if you have a personality like that, you have to have the social game. So she probably has that down. Physically, she's pretty decent. So I think overall, it's just really going to be how to connect with her tribe. And if she can do it, then I don't think her personality will get in the way. But I think the issue with, again, with the Goliath tribe is there's so many clashing personalities that if she comes off too strong or if someone perceives her to come off too strong, it might not work out for her. Um, I'll say that, uh, like, we've said it, like, maybe a million times already, but Jess is someone who is, like, very pers- well, Baz already said it, but Jess is super uh, strong in personality, which is why I was really excited to cast her, and especially in the Goliath tribe, um, because I feel like, like, let's be real, the Goliath tribe is gonna be a lot more interesting to, <laughs> to watch, because I feel like they're gonna fight a lot more, it's gonna be more fun for us. I'm just glad there's a lot of personalities this season, because last season I was having to, like, carry it with, like, two other people. Oh, so was just, like, dry and boring, and I was, like, trying to start fights, and no one would do shit, so, you know. I'm glad there's a lot of personalities. Right. And I think that actually gets to a good point that you said there was that to like conclude it all with the Goliath tribe. I'm actually pretty happy. This may be the cast that has the most personalities in the three seasons that Lux Live has uh, aired Survivor seasons. But on top of that, I believe I could be wrong here, but I think at least 60 to 70 percent of the personalities of the three seasons combined are on the Goliath tribe. So honestly, I feel really good with this Goliath tribe because at least they're going to give us something that we want to watch, what the audience wants. And for most people, if you can't win, you might as well give the audience what they want. So I think overall, this is going to be a really stock tribe. I don't know if they can win comms, but if they do go to Tribal Council, there's going to be a lot that's going on early on the game that probably people wouldn't touch till merge. So I think it's going to be very interesting to see how the Goliaths go and it's going to be very interesting to see how the davids go i mean the davids have a couple personalities but at, when they merge or swap how are they going to fit in with these personalities overall i think it's also going to be interesting to watch because i think uh i feel like the goliaths are more of like the chaotic sporadic players overall and the uh davids are more of like the calculated the lay low kind for the most part so i think it's gonna be really interesting to see how they play and i'm actually really excited for the premiere and to see how the direction of the game is going to start at the premiere. All right. Well, that's pretty much it for today. Um, obviously, this was a little bit uh, messy just because um, everything happened at once. But we will be doing more After Dark uh, later on during the season and postseason. It will trust me, it will be a lot more organized today. It's just been a mess. And also, I'm still sick because of the COVID shots, so I couldn't even think straight for most of the time. But we got through it. So this is pretty much the precast-ish assessment for David versus Goliath. I think it's going to be an interesting season, and I wish all the castaways the best of luck. And I cannot wait to see who will be the next sole survivor with myself and Mare. This is Basilina, Spencer, Hammy, Chin, and Rochelle signing off.